Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Arrow E. Now, I'm super excited to talk about Microsoft Teams today. Now, I'm not going to go in depth on how to use Microsoft Teams, but I want to show something quick, something easy. Now, on our phones, we are able to do Microsoft Teams on our phones. Now, what does that mean? So, let's say I work uh, in two organizations, or let's say I go to school and they use Microsoft Teams, and I go to work and they use Microsoft Teams. On the phone, it is great. I'm able to see all of my different accounts, but as of making this video right now, there's no way on the desktop application that I can see to add multiple accounts inside of Microsoft Teams, but there's a shortcut way and I'm going to show you how right now. And before we do that, let's just clear the air. I do work for Microsoft. So let's see how we can create multiple accounts in Microsoft Teams. Let's go. So we are in Microsoft Teams. Now I'm on the desktop version of Teams and I just want to show everyone real quick. So when you click on your uh, profile pic at the top, this is where normally you can add an account, um, another account, like how you would on your phone. But unfortunately, as of writing this or recording this, um, there's no way to add another account. Now, I just want to throw it out there. This is a great way if you go to the help section down here, you can suggest a feature. So maybe check out that area if you have Microsoft Teams on your computer um, to really maybe ask the uh, Microsoft Teams uh, engineers to maybe add that in there. Now, I don't know any of the Microsoft Teams engineers. Um, at the moment but uh the great thing i do like about microsoft teams uh and microsoft in general is that they really listen to their customers and they try their hardest to implement the top features that everyone really wants to see all right so as you can see right here there's no way to add a uh, another user or another account i should say but i found a quick shortcut so one thing I would like to do is open up Microsoft Edge right here. So the nice thing I like with Edge, especially the new Edge, it's using the Chromium engine. So that means it's using kind of like the back end of Google Chrome, but it's stripped out a lot of the Google services and things like that and really makes it a little bit more secure, um, less tracking and, and things along those lines. But as you can see here, I am in uh, Microsoft Edge. Now, if we click on the profile photo here, you'll notice a few different things. So this is where I can add another profile. So you can see I have a lot of different profiles right here from my photography one, which I'm logged into at the moment, to also um, different um, organizations that I help or work for, partner with, and things like that. So right now, I'm in my uh, photography one. But let's say I need to communicate with another team, like uh, OneCore. So I'm able to click on that, as you can see right here, and I have two windows open, two different teams simultaneously. So what I want to do now is click on the three ellipses right here. And what I want to do is go to where it says apps. And now I can make this website into a web app. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit install as an app. But I'm going to call this one, uh, let's say, Microsoft Teams hyphen arrow E. And I'm going to hit install. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to make this into an actual web application. So I'm able to pull in all of my different teams that pertain to my 
photography company. Now, let's take this a step further. Now, let's say I have another company that I help out with from time to time. So this is another way I can follow those same steps again. So I'm going to click on the three ellipses, click on apps, and click on install. Now I might call this one Microsoft Teams. Let's label this one one core Hit install. Now I have this application right here. So now as you can see, I have two of my Microsoft Teams one right here. So I will never miss a Teams conversation um, because now I have both Teams logged in. And the nice thing that I like with Teams is when I click on my start menu right here, I have them all right here. So if I wanna click on my arrow E team, there it is right here for me. If I wanna click on the one core team, there it is for me right here. So I can have multiple different logins for my Microsoft Teams. Now, this is super important and I'll tell you why in a minute. So let's say you go to work and you're using Teams, but let's say you're at school and you're using Teams. Now, there's no need to sign in, sign out, sign in, sign out. You can actually have everything in uh, one place, different logins. You can customize your start screen any way you like. But I just want to show everyone a little bit on how to add multiple different accounts um, in Windows 10 with Microsoft Teams.